They are, are quite unpredictable. I call them UFOs, unpredictable flying objects. This is a Girondola, which is, is uh, very, very similar to the one that I shot in competition at the PGI convention in Amana, Iowa. I build my Girondolas out of very traditional materials. Uh, I use bamboo, and bamboo is a very, has a combination of very lightweight and very strong. This whole frame is put together with this waxed eight-ply linen string. This is where we're now going to start putting on our, our vertical struts. These hold the two hoops together. The drivers are an extremely important part of the Girondola. They're going to spin it up to speed as a horizontal wheel, and then they're going to lift it into the air. Put her on the press, cycle the press again. We need to prep these and get them ready to, to actually use on the Girondola. Now our next step is we need to attach some quick match to this. Some of these drivers we want to put headings on. In the beginning of the presentation, I talked about the sequence of events that was going to happen on this Girondola. That we'd light the lance work, let it get established, we would then light the horizontal drivers, then the vertical drivers, then the headings. This is a fairly complex set of timing for a pyrotechnic device. So the tap drivers give us our delayed ignition of the vertical drivers until the horizontal ones are finished. We also need to establish, though, a slight delay to get our lance established before the horizontal drivers start. Now we've got to put this all together. We've got a bunch of our, our prepared drivers. Uh, these are going to be put on the frame, and if, when you looked at, the, at the, uh, the one that we had put together, you notice these are all put on at an angle. What a, a properly behaving Girondola really wants to do is to lift more majestically into the air. It wants to, to, to go up steadily, but not really very, very quickly. We're not building a rocket here. We're building something that's supposed to be a little bit more majestic, let people see the special effects. Now that we've got everything put together, we've got our effects on, we've got our drivers on, we've got our timing right, we've got to get this guy up in the air. times during the course of this presentation I've, I've shown some pictures uh, from this book. This is, this is my, my book that goes along with this video called The Incomplete Book of Girondolas. I don't want to pretend I know everything there is to know about them. Uh, and so this has, has basically pretty much all the material that's been, been covered in the video in writing um, and is, is illustrated and is also available from American Fireworks News where you bought the video. <laughs>